Hey guys, how's it going? Um, sorry, I couldn't tell if we were um, recording or not. Anyway, cheers to you. I just finished uh, I just finished, where is it? As usual, I have props to talk about. I just did Tabata. And, can you see that? I am pleased. It's like a little farm out back, which I'll, I'll get to in a minute. I've got rabbits, pigeons, ducks, and birds. Maybe a leopard or two, who knows. Um, my next, a little jacked. I think I might have slept funny last night. Either that or my new massage guy is kind of like, sometimes you have a little bit of pain after they really work out your, whatever. Anyway, so here's the thing. Remember I told you last time I did Tabata? It was the first time since I had really been sick and I hadn't done it and I was, I feel like there's something on my forehead there. Um, it was the first time I'd done Tabata since being sick, and I was really unpleasantly surprised to see kind of how how much I'd taken a step back in my progress, because I'd gotten to the point with Tabata where I could do, there's five Tabatas, uh, five sets, and I had gotten to the point where I could do all five and without stopping. So for those of you that don't are familiar with Tabata, Tabata is a protocol where you do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of, and you don't stop. And you at least go through uh, 20, 10, 20, like one set. Well, the way she does it is one set of four moves, so four Tabatas. So you do 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10 and then you stop. She does a recovery blast, and then you go on to Tabata 2, which is the same thing. So four moves two times through and whatever. So I got to the point before I was sick where I could do all five of, I have a sweaty mess. Can you see this? Um, I got to the point where I could do all five um, without stopping. And even when she does like, so she does the, the four Tabatas and then you go right into the next one and then she'll usually kind of give you a breather, okay? Um, but sometimes with those, that's what I was gonna say. Sometimes with the 10 second, uh, break. The last time I did Tabata after I'd been sick so long, I had to keep rewinding it each Tabata. So this time I got through a lot more, but I still will be honest. Several times on the second Tabata set, I had to rewind it like five seconds. The reason I'm telling you this long, blasted story um, is to share with you that you know, be happy with what progress you made. Don't sit here. If I, if I wanted to, I could sit here and focus on like, oh my God, I still can't get through it all. Look how far behind I am. Here's the deal, people. Scale's still going down. I am fitting in shorts I haven't fit in in probably three years now. Um, I wore them to Father's Day last Sunday. Um, I am fitting in all my jeans. I w last time I weighed myself, I've been bad. I haven't weighed myself for a few days. But the scale was down to 137, the lowest it's been in forever. So I can sit here and obsess over what I'm not doing, or I can obsess over what I have done and what that means for the future, because I'm just getting started, people. I took a picture on Instagram, and that was a big deal for me. It was a big deal for me to take a picture. I was wearing um, my yoga shorts. I got these cute yoga shorts from uh, Victoria's Secret, and I was wearing them, and I remember I was doing yoga. My Ultimate Yogi CD, which, DVD, excuse me, which I've only gotten through one because of the sickness and everything. Which, But I'm telling you, I'm so obsessed with this, I can't recommend it enough. One of my friends um, already bought it. She's like so excited to get it. But I was using, um, I did um, yoga in my room the other day because for some reason I couldn't make it to, uh, I couldn't make it to uh, try balance. Still getting used to new teeth in my mouth. Anyway, couldn't make it to try balance so I did it here. And I kept looking down at my legs. And you know, I've always been, really for most of my adult life, very paranoid about my um, my thighs because I have very muscular legs. I have my dad's legs, but I also carry fat. When I carry fat, um, I get I definitely get saddlebags. And um, so I've always been, you know, like oh I have big thighs, you know, blah blah blah. 
but I kept looking down and one of the things I've always admired are people that have great quads like that with great definition and, and whatever. I'm not looking to get skinny legs, like I want muscle legs. I just want to get rid of the extra fat. I think I've told you guys, I've been really, really excited and sometimes perplexed in a good way when I look down at my legs and I'm like, are those my legs? I was doing yoga and I was looking down at some of the stretches and I'm like, I'm getting that line. Like I'm getting that, and it was just such a moment and I took a picture of myself for Instagram and it was just, you know, a side selfie, like a cheese ball. But that was a big moment for me to like pull my shirt up, have yoga shorts on, and take a picture of myself and be like cool with how it looked. So it's on Instagram if you're not following me, FYI. Um, but anyway, you have to focus on what you are doing. Don't focus on what you aren't doing, especially if you've had a setback of any way. Don't sit and do what I did before, you know, in my past life, which is obsess over, oh, I screwed up. Oh, somebody told me I'm not really allowed to have, you know, lunch meat on Body for Life. That means I've just wasted these six weeks. I better start over and have a whole cheat weekend. Yeah, I don't think so. So, what are some of the things I wanted to tell you today? Uh, I've got a bunch of props here. Um, I will tell you this, because I don't think I mentioned this on one of my last videos. I'm so glad I bought these. Um, and Oh, this is core workout, excuse me. Um, but I bought three of her DVDs, so I have the core, lower body, and full body. I didn't get the um, upper body, but I probably will. Um, this is very, very cool. Excuse me, I haven't done the core. I have this out because I'm going to do the core later today. I've done her lower body, and um, I was, first of all, there are different kinds of moves in a different sequence that... I've ever done. I've done some other bar workouts in Physique 57, which I love, um, and I can't recommend enough. But this one, it was just different. And I, I remember that I tried it when I was in New York, and I thought, I'm gonna do this with the, no cardio first. I think I've told you guys, I kind of have a little bit of a weird thing about working out. Like if I'm not dripping in sweat, it doesn't feel like a workout. So I looked at that you know, DVD, and I'm like, is that really gonna get me, you know, the good sweat? And I know that's really silly, I'm just telling you guys how I think. But I did it, and I couldn't believe that, like, 20 minutes into it, I was sweating. Not, you know, like I do with crazy cardio. But I am in love with it. I cannot wait, and I can feel how it's, it's working my legs and my ass in ways that are just, have not been worked before. So, very excited about that. Um, as I mentioned before, I cannot tell you how much I love this, I love the series. I have only done, again because of when I ordered it, um, I've only done the first uh, DVD, but I love the sequence, um, I love his instruction. Um, again, I, other than that Janet Stone uh, DVD series, and that's not really a class setting as much. She has like three or four people doing yoga with her. This is definitely a class. There's like, I don't know, I'd say 10 people with him. And it just really looks like a class. And he's walking through the class. He's not doing the yoga. He's so walking through the class like they do at Tri-Balance where, you know, they walk through and they adjust people. Um, and then there's a whole like movie on here. Um, there's meditation. It's just killer. Like I can see myself, if he, anything else he puts out, I'm going to be getting. And, can't wait to meet him because you know I will. Um, so there's that. Also wanted to tell you about this really cool, um, you guys know that I kind of have issues sleeping and I'm always looking for ways to improve my sleep without using Advil PM every single night. So um, I was looking for um, a meditation app, like, sorry. Do a stretch, sorry. I was looking for a meditation app that I could maybe use to meditate at night before I go to bed. I ended up stumbling on this, and I have to tell you, I am so blown away by this. My massage guy here is now going to download it. Everybody that I saw, who else was, um, oh, Renee came over. Um, my my uh, massage person friend that comes to my house. Um, anyway, and I played it for him, and he was like, OMG. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see the, see that app right here? Not this one, not the blue one, this one. And I'm just telling you guys, I'm not getting paid to say this. Do you see all this? So it has, you open it up, hopefully I can do this. Let's see. I feel like a teacher right now. Um, it has all of these. Um, these are 
binaural beats, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, they require headphones, they influence the brain through entertainment of brainwaves and entrainment <laughs> of brainwaves. Um, then you've got, can you see all of these? These are all different sounds, okay? Um, here's the next one. Um, and so what you do is, I should press pause on the music, hold on, one second, just so that you can hear. Um, oh, look, you can tune up. Okay, so say you have one. I don't know why I'm just so in love with this. You press this, and you can blend. So you can be like your own meditation DJ. So you press, I just pressed one, which was Asian prayer. Then I can go, oh, I want to add some um, raindrops. So I can do tropical rain. Then you add tropical rain, then it has two things playing. Can you hear? And then when you finally pick your, your blend that you like, and you can make one louder, one more quiet, then you can hit down here at the bottom, you hit slideshow, and it can look like this, or then you can hit full screen. Cool, right? I mean, imagine this on your desktop. So I'm putting this on my desk when I work. Of course, I'm charging it the whole time. Amy, who makes fun of me because I'm obsessed with keeping things charged. Um, but that would really run down my battery, which is unacceptable. So I had to tell you guys about that. It's called, like the, the shortcut says relax, M-O-P, H-D. I think it's, uh, see this is what's a little bit annoying about it is that you can't, I can't just, uh, you are stopping it right now. Um, relax oriental meditation or something like that. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can give you the exact name. You should definitely <sighs> download it, purchased. Relax Melodies Oriental Premium by ILB, B as in boy, soft. So you gotta go get you some of that, it's awesome. Um, so I told you about Ballet Body, which I love. I told you about Ultimate Yogi, which I love. I told you about my progress here. Um, I'm also using this um, to practice. I've told you guys one of my biggest problems with um, some a few of the poses in yoga is that I'm a, such a pronator. Okay, so my leg, my feet when they're on the ground, instead of just <laughs> laying like this, they definitely. What is your problem? We're just standing here. It says check heart rate monitor. I'm just standing here. <sighs> Don't talk back to me. Um, and I asked Kelly and Corey um, some of the things I could do to start training my, my feet. See, I'm doing it right now. Training my feet when I'm standing. And the, the thing is, is they both said, okay, I know you're okay, stop talking to me. Um, you know, they said it, it's really kind of your inner thighs. So here's a little hint. If you have the same problem I have, A, I'm going to be practicing doing a lot more standing on my tiptoes during the day so I can strengthen my toes. But if you put this in between your thighs and squeeze really hard, it's going to make your legs come down. A tip that is not for me. Okay? I'm not even going to act like it's me that knows what I'm doing. I'm at 13 minutes. i got to go. Um, I will be back tomorrow. It's a very strange weather day out. Today, it was strange yesterday, but hey, it's all good. It actually feels like Sunday, but it's um, it's Saturday. So anyway, you guys have a good rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow.